hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is dear gracious if it is your first time viewing and of course if you're returning then you already know that thank you so so much for coming back i appreciate you guys so so much um if it's your first time i hope you'll enjoy this video um and if you do enjoy the content please do um give me a thumbs up firstly and then please do subscribe as well if you enjoy this video so anyway let us get straight into um today's video uh, so I have been getting a few requests to do this video because I have done two of these kind of videos before one last year was it last year yeah one last year and then one beginning of this year and so throughout this year I have managed to acquire a few goods here and there that I really really um, like and so I thought I'd just do a video because a few of you have requested this video um, so yeah I bought from two luxury stores I have some things from Gucci and some things from LV and I wasn't sure whether to start with Gucci or LV um, I think LV is probably the more popular one although um, in SA Gucci is very very popular guys I had no idea how popular Gucci is but every time you go to Diamond Walk the queue for Gucci is always like insane I don't know if that's because they're a bit slower inside or is it just because it's just that more popular um, but I think I've been there twice or three times now and um, what I will say is that they have far better service than LV uh, firstly um, I don't know I just get when I walked into uh, Gucci the first time the lady was just very warm very nice second time I went um, it was a different lady that served me also very nice third time i went it was a guy that helped us and he was also very nice unlike my two experiences at lv the first time wasn't so bad but the second time like they had no time for me okay like that girl she had no time for me um even though i made purchases on both occasions but like so anyway, I had a much better experience at Gucci. So I've decided to start with Gucci. <laughs> Just because I also feel like it's probably the one that's not as popular. Um, so I'll leave the more popular stuff for the end. And also I'm going to go in order of um, the least expensive to the most expensive. And the things that I've bought, the least expensive ones, were the ones that are from Gucci. So let's get straight into it. Um, first item okay so let me just clarify the things that i'm going to show you guys have already been unboxed i have used all of them except for this one so this first one it has been unboxed i tied this little knot i mean this little bow so i tried to like tie it the way that they tied it at the gucci store but um i have not used it but i have unboxed it i have taken it out and had a look at it and then i put it neatly back into this beautiful beautiful little box so just look at the packaging Do you guys see the detail like it's so gorgeous like it's so luxurious it's a beautiful beautiful box and then the bow as well and then of course it says gucci right over there so i think with each item i'm just gonna do a short little backstory so it's a little bit more exciting it's not just like look at this this is how much it costs you know um so this okay let me unbox should i unbox it first and then tell the story or should i tell the no let me tell the story and then it's like a build up okay so this i actually got this um when I was going to Gucci to exchange something else which was purchased from Gucci and then I saw this and this was not a planned purchase it's not something I hadn't thought about but I had not planned on purchasing it the day that I did okay so that is the only story to this one this one doesn't have a big story or anything that's literally the story okay so let us unbox so like I said it did come ribboned beautifully like this and a small little box like this can you guys guess what's in here you might think jewelry but no it's not jewelry um that's the inside and here is the item so this is the beautiful 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 um little bandeau which i purchased 
let me just get my face out of the frame so that it focuses so you guys can see and it has red at the tips so this is another bando if you guys watched my earlier video you saw that for my birthday i did buy myself a bando or a twilly um from lv so this is another one this is a gucci one over here it says gucci you guys can see that and then it has like it's the horse bits actually so it has the gg the normal gucci gg and then in gold um it is the horse spit uh, little symbol which they have on quite a few of their pieces and so how I plan on wearing this because I don't have a Gucci bag not yet not yet I definitely would love one so how I plan on wearing this of course is how I wear my LV one which will be <laughs> which will probably be like as um a little head tie like that um you can also wear it around your neck if you please you can also wear it around your neck this would look so nice with like a white shirt or even a black one so you can wear it around your neck and you can tie it around your handbag which is what I've been doing a lot with my LV one. I've been tying it onto my handbag, but I'll show you guys that towards the end of the video. And so that is the first item that I wanted to show you guys. Remember in my earlier video, I said that, um, you know, the quite expensive larger um, luxury pieces might be out of reach. For me personally, a lot of them, <laughs> all of them, <laughs> But I did say a lot of it is like out of reach for me, but I just wanted to buy like smaller items which I can just add to my wardrobe just to elevate my wardrobe. And I did mention like a little twitty, you know, you can get yourself um, a belt, um, nice pair of luxury sunglasses, just small things like that, which really like elevate an ordinary look and just make you look, you know, expensive. Okay, so moving on to item number two. Like I said, I'm going to do them from the least expensive to the most expensive. Um, item number two <laughs> is this box right here. If you guys want to guess again what it is, um, if you love to play a guessing game, if not, then that's fine too. Um, but yeah, this is item number two. So this one actually does not have a ribbon. This did not come in a ribbon, which was so disappointing. Just because, like, obviously, unboxing with the ribbon, like, it just gives you... It's part of the experience of purchasing a luxury item. And the other thing is that, like, they didn't have stock. So, the backstory to this item, before I show you guys what it is, is that when we had Ingrid by my Sondo, like... Um, it was in May when we did it so basically um, for you guys who have not probably seen my video I will link it up here somewhere uh, but um, my husband's family basically was welcoming me into their family and so we had like a little lunch and it was like a whole thing um, so I had like a dress made and it was May so I thought it's gonna be cold it is probably going to be cold so i told my husband you know what i really want to buy a scarf okay now you guys know what it is i said i really want to buy a scarf just to go with my dress and it has to be a beautiful scarf it can't just be any other ordinary scarf and i said to him i want a gucci scarf that's what i want and he's like how much is it so i'm like mm, i don't know probably like ten thousand rand and he's like what i was like yeah then he's like no that's a waste of money babe don't get that it's not worth it so um i didn't get it because i did take his advice but i walked up and down the mall i think two or three different malls looking for the perfect scarf i couldn't find one at the end i settled just for like a plain black country road scarf which was gonna be fine but luckily on the day i actually didn't need a scarf because it actually wasn't cold which i was so thrilled about i was worried that it might be cold so this was actually a gift from my husband and he gifted me this on the day of Ingriva Masondo. So it was actually a surprise. He told me not to get the scarf and then he actually got the scarf for me. So he got it for me 
we had our event on sunday he got it for me sunday morning that very same sunday and he gifted me this at the end of the event and i was like ah. i was so happy i was so happy it was such 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 a nice surprise especially after like he had shut me down and i thought oh my gosh this man <laughs> doesn't give me he doesn't understand me because you know but anyway so i've just opened um the box so it came in this box like this and then this is like the paper that it came in and then how did okay i wrapped this myself but i think when it came it was probably like this it was a situation where i opened it like this um and then here is the scarf so let me take my face out so you guys can see here is the scarf um it's stunning i love this scarf so so much so it's light gray and it's dark gray and it is the gg and it is made from these are all the things which i don't have at my disposal right now but i'm gonna put it up on the screen what it is made out of or any other information that i think might interest you guys um but basically it's wool and something else so it looks quite bright so i'm just trying to like hide my face so that it doesn't focus on my face but you can see like it's tasseled at the bottom and then it is quite a big scarf as well i'm just gonna show you guys the inside and i think i actually like this side a little bit more oh how stunning is that how gorgeous is that how gorgeous how gorgeous so on the inside here it's dark gray and then the gg logo is in a light gray and then this side is the other way around also stunning it's a light gray and then the gg logo is in dark gray so that is the scarf and i have worn the scarf here is the evidence of that i don't know if the camera is picking it up um but my eye can see it there is a foundation stain i actually need to take this to dry cleaners i didn't see this the last time but there's a foundation stain um right over there from the last time that i wore it and it's quite big like i said you guys can see it's quite a big scarf and i absolutely absolutely love it um so i didn't show you guys this part um this is just the gucci label over there and it tends to like peep, peek out when you've tied when you've got you see and then you can also just see the the gucci over there so that is the scarf the beautiful gucci scarf and oh i have this time i have the receipt right here the other one i don't have the receipt close by oh okay oh okay so the first one but i did put it up on the screen already um the twilly was 3.3 so it is slightly cheaper than the lv1 and then um the scarf was a six thousand rand so three thousand three hundred and the scarf is six thousand rand okay so now we're gonna move on to item number three um so item number three is also from gucci and there is the string this time around they had stock oh so what i was saying is when with the scarf i didn't tell you guys the full story when i went to exchange it and then they got me the one that i wanted which was the gray one and then they gave it back to me and it didn't have um the ribbon so i'm like to him did you forget to put the rib? i'm like to the lady did you forget to put the ribbon and she goes oh i'm so sorry we're out of stock and i'm like what do you mean <laughs> what do you mean you're out of stock like how can you guys be out of stock so she's like no the supplier hasn't delivered for quite some time so it was not tied up in this beautiful little ribbon um so i cannot replicate how this was tied but it was something like this um something like that except with like um i think the ribbon was on top um so here is box number three this is another gucci item like i said and in the backstory for this one um <laughs> my friend and i 
went to Gucci. It was like spur of the moment. To be fair, I had been thinking about this for a long, 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 long time. Um, and then one day we went to Gucci and I saw it and I it just really impressed upon my heart to get it, to get this item. And so I got it. And so I got this item. After I seeing it in person and trying it on, I think that's really what sealed the deal. And that's usually what happens. Like I think about something a lot. And when I decide to finally go to the store and try it on, chances are I'm gonna leave with it because I've already been like thinking about it for months and months and months and like stewing about it. By the time I walk into the store, I usually already have the money and I've just told myself that I'm gonna get it. So anyway, this is item number three. Okay, let me do this properly. This is the box that it came in. And then it also came in a dust bag as well. And you guys want to guess what it is? I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you're getting annoyed. I'm just excited. Okay, so anyway, dum dum dum. About. So it is the GG. I think it's called the. Um, I'm gonna put the name over here. It just says here yeah, woman belt. Um, but it is a reversible belt. Um let me actually put this piece in. So I was wearing this belt earlier. Um, so it's reversible. So it comes in cream. It comes in cream and it also comes in brown. So let me try and hold it up like this so you guys can see the true color. So it's this beautiful um it looks more like a taupe hey more like a taupe color like a charcoal kind of brown instead of yeah it's more like a charcoal kind of brown instead of like um a cocoa brown and then this side is the cream side and then over here it says so that is the belt detail and i love it <laughs> so much i've just lost okay so that's the belt and like i said it is reversible so it comes with two of these little uh belt buckle things um guys i'm so sorry i should have actually done takeaways takeaways like b-rolls and put them on the side here instead of what i'm doing this is not better um i'll do better next time hopefully there is a next time um so you can see the two different colors over here and it's got like a gold piece at the back and then like i said the belt is um reversible so this piece right here turns like that so that you can wear the belt this way or you can wear the belt this way on the cream side so yeah that is my gucci belt gucci belt gucci belt gucci belt <laughs> and i absolutely love it and then the price of this belt is 8300 rand so those are all the items that i got from gucci and now we're gonna move on to the handbags we're gonna move on to the main course okay because we're doing dessert i mean not dessert what am i saying <laughs> we did starters um uh now we're doing the main course and dessert i don't know i don't know um but yeah i guess this because these items are my favorite 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 items and they are big purchases i guess then this is the main meal and the dessert um so anyway let's move on to lv so these two purchases that i have from lv are both not coming in any boxes or any dust bags i did buy these pre-loved i did buy these uh, we used to say second hand back in the day now we say pre-loved because it sounds better but these did have previous owners and then those owners decided to sell and then i was like sign me up okay um so the first one is the infamous 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 and if you follow me on social media you might already know what this is but it is this oh this bag guys this is the most beautiful bag 
one of the most beautiful bags definitely probably the most beautiful bag that i own personally um but it's such a stunning bag so this is the alma bb I don't think she needs an introduction. Miss Alma over here is a very, very, very popular. And she's rightfully so. She's absolutely gorgeous. She's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so like I said, I did not buy her from the store. I bought her pre-loved. Um, okay, let's get into the details. I bought her pre-loved. I will put the retail price. If you guys want to walk into an LV and purchase it, I'll put the retail price right here on the screen. Um, I bought it for much less than that. I got very, very lucky to find this bag. If you guys are interested to know where I bought it from, I bought it from um, um, a store which sells pre-loved luxury goods. If you guys are interested, I'm so sorry. Something's in my eye. If you guys are interested, please send me a DM or um, just send me a DM on my Instagram and I'll tell you guys where I purchased it from. The reason why I don't want to say on this video is because I don't want to endorse them because if you guys buy something from there and later you have, you know, you find that it's not authentic or they don't deliver or whatever, I do not want anyone coming back to me and saying that I endorsed the store and now they're having a problem or they're having an issue. So I don't want to say, unless it is the actual LV store, I don't want to say where I purchased this from. But guys, there are lots of stores which sell secondhand goods. I'm not saying they are all authentic. There are some that we all know of have a very good reputation and that one of those is where I purchased from. So anyway, back to the bag. The detail in Little Miss Alma is absolutely stunning. I'm gonna just come in to show you guys. If we do this, this might be better. So you can kind of see there's like an engraving over there. It says LV. There's also engraving over here. It's way too tiny. Um, but maybe I will end up putting B-rolls for this whole video, but it's also engraved LV right over there LV LV over here. It says Louis Vuitton um, Over here. It says Louis Vuitton. There's lots of beautiful little details on this handbag um, Over here. It says LV as well um, This is such a stunning bag. I'm gonna put the exact details the exact name of this bag on the screen like I said um, so it is a dome shaped bag like this and the interior is this beautiful bright red color it does come with a little um, padlock which you can use to um, is it focused which you can use to lock your bag and it does look like a small bag like you can kind of compare it to the size of my head um, my head is normal sized I think slightly big but more or less normal sized um, so it is a I wouldn't call it like um, a, a mini bag I think it's like a regular size but it is a small bag but it fits a whole lot like it can fit your whole life a lot of things fit in this bag that is my bag that is the alma bb you guys know if you guys watched my previous video like i said i will link it up again i wanted this bag i wanted this bag but one thing i knew was that i was never gonna pay the full price for a brand new bag and <laughs> here is the next bag the beautiful never full the demir bin never fall Whew. I love this bag it's very very similar to the other one they're both in the Demia bin you guys can see this is a ginormous bag this is in the size mm the Demia bin never fall mm and it is the most perfect bag it's the most perfect perfect bag and this is our final item that I am showing you guys and this is the most expensive one again I will put the price on the screen I did not pay that much thank goodness I paid about half of that which was a great great okay a little bit more than half of that but it was like a great 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 find as soon as I saw it I snatched it up the interior is also this beautiful bright red and then the hardware is also this um, yellow gold um, it also says LV on this yellow gold over here and then 
let's actually get to this little baby that comes with it before we get into the interior of the bag it does come with this little satchel is that the right word satchel it does come with this little satchel over here and the hardware is very similar to the alma it is more of a matte gold right over there and then over here it is a bright yellow gold and again all the hardware is like engraved lv i hope that is clear if it's not i apologize um and then inside again this beautiful bright red in fact this red on the um, never fall oh it's the same is it the same yeah it's the same red just that this one has stripes and in the um, in the armor bb it does not have stripes so this one has stripes and then there is like a little um stamp over here which is sewn on sewn on sewn in and or sewn on and it is uh stamped with this red ink and it says Louis Vuitton Paris and this is basically the inside so the nice thing about this bag was it is a humongous bag and it's very easy to like overfill it and put it with so many things in it that it becomes so so heavy but if you have your bag with you and you need to step into the mall or you're having lunch with a friend you can just empty a few things like your phone um a little bit of tissue a lip gloss your car keys in here and they fit just perfectly and then you just put this like over here on your hand and then just carry this like as a little um clutch bag if you will what i did for my bag is because this bag is quite full and it is very like soft as you can see it's not structured and the thing is the more you have this bag or the longer you have this bag the more soft it gets over time like these handles used to like stand up on their own in the beginning now they kind of fall down because the leather gets softer and softer i've had this for a few months now um so the more yeah i already said it the longer you have it the softer the bag gets and it is not a structured bag so i bought myself this little baby and i got this off of amazon i will share the link um from where i purchased the direct link to this organizer but it's amazing and i got an organizer which matches the red interior it's slightly brighter than this red um, i don't know if it shows in the camera it's slightly brighter than the red of the interior but it matches almost perfectly and the nice thing about this is that it has um this velcro zip so you can take out the velcro if you like and then your organizer will just be open like that so you guys can see it's just the way to organize all your things inside because this bag is a gigantic hole it's a gigantic hole so in the beginning i did not have an organizer and i would just throw things in here and what happens the first thing you throw in here let me put my cell phone inside um i don't know if it's heavy enough but the first thing you throw in here look at that can you guys see that it starts to dip at the bottom let me put in something else the more things you put into this bag because this bag is not structured and i hated <laughs> i hated the way it looked when i would put things inside you see that like it starts to dip more and more and more so i decided to get an organizer it's also gonna just help me keep the structure of my bag for way way longer so we are done um with this luxury haul i hope you guys did enjoy it i think it, it was a bit of a long one but that's because i had five items to show you guys um please don't think i bought these things all in one go um these are things which i've purchased throughout this whole year it's november now so basically throughout the last my first purchase was in march so 11 minus okay anyway it doesn't matter what the math is the point is that i did not purchase this all in one go this is purchases which i've made throughout the year um and i've had 
most of these things for a few months now and so i just wanted to show you guys because i know that a lot of us do love luxury i do love luxury and maybe something that i've shown today is something which you had your eye on and hopefully i've convinced you to just go and purchase it um and i absolutely love everything i don't regret any of my purchases because i spend months thinking about them even if it is like you know i walked into the store and i just bought it and i wasn't planning on buying it that day it's never something which i haven't spent months like i go on youtube i watch all the videos you know i really just like instagram i'm like checking girls out who have this handbag how does it look you know and i want to see if it's something which i'm gonna fall more and more in love with before i make this huge purchase because it is a huge purchase do not take it lightly it is huge i know like people's pockets are different obviously but for me it's a huge purchase it's something which i have to save up for i can't just walk in and just purchase most of the time anyway so yeah thank you guys so so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it um hopefully we can have another luxury haul next year we shall see a girl is getting married so a girl needs to watch her coins um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you've made it this far do not forget to subscribe please and i'll see you guys in the next one bye Mwah.